All right, here we got a FIA 2012. So it was made on 611, so it's a 2012. The code we have PO120A. That code is a bad thermostat. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to change that thermostat. So first, let's go over the tools that we're gonna need. There's a 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter, T27, uh, 13. Um, if you don't have drills, like always, this is optional and you're definitely gonna need a little light so you can see what you're doing. So the first thing we're gonna do, um, we're gonna remove that battery. So let me get some light over here. Get some light, okay. All right, so let me get my glove. All right, here we go. So first thing, I'm gonna grab the 13. And I'm gonna remove this, there's a 13 right here. I'm gonna remove that. Okay. Now I get my uh, 10 millimeter right here. I'm gonna remove the negative here. Before I do that, let me take the other 10 millimeter. Now I'm gonna remove that ground for the computer. There you go. I'm gonna put it back in so I don't lose it. All right, so now I'll grab my pen again. Now remove the 10 right here. Put that on the side. And I get the other 10 over here. Put that on the side. Now I should be able to lift that battery. Alright, it's not recommended to put it on the bare floor, so I'm gonna put it on the cardboard. Now I get my 13 again. So there's three. Um, if you want it to come smoother, take some uh, PV blaster and just spray a little bit on the head. Now, let's take all three out, all right, if you can see them. This one. Two. And three. Should be out. I'm gonna put this on the side. So now, this the ECU is gonna come up with it. So we gotta unplug it. To unplug it, you press this tab right here. And then you press the other, you pull the other one here, and then all you do, you lift it up, lift it up like that, and it comes out. Now we lift the other one from here, pull, pull it back out, lift it, and it comes out. Now we should be able to. Oh, another thing, right here, you got two taps. Pull those out. Now, lift the whole thing up. Put it right there. So this is what we, this is what we after. We are after the thermostat. 
which is located right there. If you can see, it's right there where I'm flashing. Flashing my hand right there. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. First, make sure you have something under the car so you can catch, so you can catch the water, the coolant that's gonna come out. So now I'm gonna take my T27 first. This is this one right here, T27. I'm gonna go get a little sensor out of the way. I hope you can see it right there. T27. That's the one I'm taking out right now. So now it's loose. I will try to do it by hand. Yep, it's coming out. Okay. Put it right here. So remember, uh, the coolant is gonna come out and you got your thing down there to catch it. So now I'm gonna wiggle this pipe. Just wiggle it on. Mm. Really stuck in there. All right, so I'm gonna get a flat head. Ah. Get a flat head and just push it out right here. There you go. And you can see the coolant coming out. There. Okay. So now, make sure the coolant is going inside your pan. Yep, which it is right there. All right, so now I'm gonna get my uh, 10 millimeter. And we're gonna remove two bolts. One, we're gonna go from the bottom here. So let's wait for the water to drip out. So, let's see if I can keep this light over here, right there. All right. So I'm gonna do one bolt here from the bottom. Let me make sure this is on the reverse. So right under the right under the hose, there's gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt. Right there, I got it. So, I'm gonna get a loose. That's out. That's that one right there, 10 millimeter. Put it right there. Now this one, you gotta go from the top. From the top right there. That's out. I'm gonna try to grab it. Hopefully I don't drop it. Okay, so there it is. Now you lift this whole thing back to you. Uh, we gotta bring it to face you. So don't, whenever you're doing the job, don't take these clamps off. 
there is a clamp there those clamps are one-time use uh, be careful with this sensor right here not to break it it's up to you if you want to unplug it I have a lot of room here so I don't I don't need to unplug it now all I need right now is this this whole housing to face me so I'm just gonna bring it over like that and this sense this uh, the way you change the way you change this uh, thermostat is you push down push down and turn and I come with this clip out on the spring put it right here put it right here where I can see it and then the thermostat pull right up and this is all you need um, so now I'm gonna go buy the thermostat hopefully it's gonna come with a new seal if not uh, I will buy it separate because you gotta change that seal as well okay so I'm gonna just leave it there for now this is the part we gotta go buy this is what goes bad that there's a needle here that's supposed to slide out and let the water go through all right so let me go buy that and we go from there so remember you don't have to you don't have to remove none of this plastic cover intake and stuff you don't have to remove none of your clamps you don't have to unplug none of those sensors none of those connector only this line right here with the t27 pop it out and bring the hose in facing you take the little clip out with the spring save it because you're going to reuse that i believe so and this is what we're going to be changing so let me go buy the new one and see what it come with and i'll get back to you as soon as i get the new part all right i'm back uh, this is what we're gonna do you're gonna get a flathead so i got the new part here before i show you that part let me show you what we're gonna do here first to the old one to make it easier for you all right you're gonna get a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna pop this yellow clip you're gonna bring it out then you're gonna kind of lift here at the end and you're gonna slide that out so you're kind of lifting right here okay so now I'm gonna take a 19 millimeter and I'm gonna take that sensor out right there so I got the sensor out now we open the new wait hold on so remember we already slide the the new one here I'm gonna take the gasket out flathead and then a little pick right there there you go I'm gonna slide this out take that out of the way now you're gonna come here to the new one so for this one I'm gonna take my glove off all right so here's a new one there's nothing wrong with that replacing that with this will be the same you're not you're not fixing anything so this is not cracked it's not broken so we don't really need to go through the hassle of you know messing up messing with those clamps those hoses and reach attach them so that right there is just a feeding line there's no sensor here so we're just going to remove that sensor which is this right here with a 19 millimeter 
okay and then we're gonna put it back that's if you really want to change it you don't really have to change it but in case that's your problem and not your temperature right there the only thing is I'm gonna put that by hand I'm not gonna hit it with it I'm not gonna hit that with a gun there by hand okay so that's tight right there now I'm gonna come back Come back to this. So we're gonna push down and twist. Push down and twist. Whoops. You gotta hold it. All right, we push down and twist. We got the spring. So pay attention how the spring goes. You see the big, the wider part goes to the top. Cause this won't fit in. So it only goes one way. Like that, we slide this out. Put that right there for now. Bring this back again, facing you. Stick the thermostat in the hole. It's right there. Put the spring right there. And we put the clip. And we're gonna push down. Go the other way. Push down here. Hold on. Push down and turn. So I gotta grind, I gotta grind crossing each other, not lining up. There we go. So here, put the sensor lining up right there and put this bigger side to the top now we push down and turn turn into a lock right there that lock right there now I'll go back to the try go like that I want to take out take out this seal make sure this one is clean clean so now I put this one like that side by side and I will take the seal 
just lift the seal up and put it right there come on stay inside there you go right there now we don't need that see they try to make it a little different so you have a hard time and you go through the hassle of replacing all those lines those clamp i mean not the lines messing up with those clamps so now i need to clean the inside okay before I put it in look at your gasket make sure it's sitting right and now we get the two bolts make sure these two I'm gonna put one here let me get my 10 millimeter so we're gonna do it by hand first. Remember this one, we go through the top. That's going in. Now we do this one through the bottom. Just gotta find a hole right there. That's going in. Now, um, you can do this by hand. I recommend better doing it by hand. Uh, so let me get it, y'all. Uh, let me get a ratchet. If I can. Do it by hand. Try to find the bottom one first. Right there. And this you don't have to go too tight. Right there. Now I'll do this one through the top. right there that's it so now we connect the sensor back and we push the yellow tab in right there now we get this line fit it back in the hole wiggle it in right there then we get the T27 bolt. Thread it by hand all the way. Now I'll get this. If you get one of these, it's actually really easy to, to do it. So this one. You know this one goes straight or you can put it in either any angle so you like it like that There you 
go. So now what I will do, I'll take some brake cleaner. And I will clean everything in there. So it looked like nothing happened. Get rid of the coolant so you don't get the coolant smell when the engine heat up. All right, so now we are all done right there. Now you just gotta put everything back, which it doesn't take doesn't take a lot. So here we go. First. I got the box right here. So you put the ground on the side. Make sure this hose, that's in case any water get in there, it doesn't stay there. Make sure we put it right here, facing, going down, right there. Now we take these bolts, take this bolt completely out so we can see where we need to line them up. Probably just flipping the other, the other screw. Okay, so now we gotta find. Extension again. There. Now I get I get my battery. Locking right here to lock the battery down. Connect your line right here. Your clips. There you go. It's not moving. We're gonna connect this. Wait a minute. Connect this right there. Then we push down. And we'll lock it. Same thing here. Line them up. there push down lock it and we do the positive positive wire here get the 10 millimeter So now we get the negative.
good. I'm gonna get this one. The ground for the ECU. That's good. Now, what we really need to do now is add the coolant. right there Sure, looks good. Hmm. I don't really like that. We don't have a lot of choice here. That's not it. Gotta be this one. Yeah, that's the one. All right, I'll put this on. This is the coolant we're using. That's what I call an assistant for this car. So now I'm going to turn the car on. With the heat to the max. Gotta let it idle and play with the pedal a little bit until we get heat. 
once it start blowing hot over here that means we already bleed the system Just playing with the gas pedal, tapping it like this to release all the bubble. Yes, it's, it's throwing warm, warm air. But I want it hot. Zap Tali Lulu. this and now I'm gonna screw it slowly slowly right there and then I put the butt over here put that right in Closing. Let's bring the car down and go drive it. Make sure everything is back on.
Doki. Mechanic. What's up, man? I thought you said you come at seven, man. Hey, I come before. Close before you close. Come before you close. Is that a camera? Yeah. Nice. YouTube video. Testing, yes sir. Testing it, testing it. Just got it. Got it at Best Buy. Makes it a lot easier so I don't have to I don't have to stand my phone. I can just work right there and forget about it. And it's seeing what you're seeing. Yes. Thermostat. So that thermostat look really small. Yeah, you want me to check? Look at it. I need a big, it's like a big flange. Big flange? Yeah. Yeah, that look really tiny for that truck. That's what it say. There might be another, might be another gasket. So it's a Dodge Dakota, right? Yeah. Mm. Can you look at it for, um, Cause it's right on the bottom. Yeah, there was another one, another one too. There's another one? Yeah, I don't know if it's a bigger size than that, but I know there was two options. Yeah, let me see the big one. Okay. And then this is the U joint. Hey Rob, look at this guy. Hi. Look what he has. I That's not a light. It's not a light. Don't get fooled. Is that a camera? And you on camera right now. Hi. <laughs> Hi, yo. Why you on camera? Um, you know, I'm yet. testing, man. Testing. Oh, testing? Yeah. yeah That's pretty cool. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna make you famous. Oh, every time I, every Thank time you. I ring you up, my computer just it freeze, just freeze. Bro. Man, what's oh, wrong with you? We're running, the, we're running the AC too cold in here. That's too cold. Problem. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of cold in here. Yep. Okay, open this thing. Inner. Do you think that gasket would be as a water pump lower hose? Because it, it attached to the to a big piece. It looked like the water pump on the bottom. Dakota 2000, Dutch Dakota, 4.8, I think. Seven? Yeah, four seven. Two thousand. Two thousand. Yes. Uh, that one. You got a picture? Oh, I think I know why. It's part of the wrong one. <laughs> this one, this one, this one looks small too. You said? Thirty-five, six twenty-two. Uh huh. That's what I can. Yeah, that's that should be right. Uh, but uh, I'll go check in the back for the thermostat. Do I need a separate gasket for the flange? No. No? No, that's that sealed everything. Okay. Yeah, the only coolant. I mean, take really a look at the gaskets are showing the water pump gasket and that thermostat gasket right there. Let me see those two. See if look like. Okay. okay. Uh, 
Dutch. Yep. Yes. Where's the housing? Okay. 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 So, and then Nestor is going to have to take care of the a farm my business. A who, who, who? A farm my business. A who, who? Break it down. That's <laughs> English, whatever. Uh, here's that Eminem looking guy. A little bigger? I think so, yeah. Well, that's the other one. Just these two, I got two of them. This one. So which one, which one is for that truck? Both of them. Oh, both. It's, it's two choice? Yeah, two choices. Yeah. Yep. And, and they're that's different? They, yeah, two choices for it. So one is, they're both OEM recommended. They're both pretty much the same sh Pretty much the same. Shit. For, the other one is ultra standard, the other one's standard. Yeah. So, so I might just go with this one then. Cheaper one? Uh, I think the cheaper one is. Yeah, this one is cheaper. How about, much? About like two dollars. Go with that one. What's the total for that? Uh, let me see. So that means I'm not gonna need this one because this one already comes with it. it. Yeah, this it one comes with it. Mm -hmm. Alright, good. Even better. We'll take out this. Okay. Alright, so what I have here, here is uh, those things. And you're gonna pick up the two shocks from. Uh, oh, yeah, from yeah. I forgot about it. Yeah, yeah I yeah. got it. We had it, right? And then I would look for it. I can't find it. I'll pick it up. You pick it up? Okay. I'll let them know where. Mm -hmm. Okay, the total is 113.18. You were debit man, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do cash today. Oh, see? I remember now, and then the right room I remember is cash today. <laughs> even better, even better. Even better. Yeah! Get a little bag, please. Huh? Bag. Yeah, I get it. Eighty-two. Get your bag. I'll call them. Let them know you on the way there. Okay. Pick up your shit. Get your receipt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hold on, I already got receipt. Oh yeah, you good. <laughs> we don't get no other receipt. I forgot it was cash, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep on thinking. Death, yeah. You know? I see you. I'll call them, bro. All right, thank you. for this video please subscribe like and share i see you in the next one